And back over to the third. This hole playing a lot shorter than yesterday, about 40 yards shorter. Emily Pedersen, yeah, we're going to see quite a lot of good golf shots here, I think, today. 30-year-old who went to the University of Virginia. Putting down into that bowl. Yeah. Well, yesterday, as I was saying, the first three holes were pretty tricky. I think we'll see a few more birdies at three today, definitely. Jari Anand-Rukar, the 23-year-old from Thailand. Keeping it on the ground. And in the hole. <laughs> okay. Well done. So the birdie at 12. So you get a sense of what things are like here on day two. Just happy they're out there playing. Now, this is Gabby then at the fifth, coming off a birdie at four. She needs a good day today to try and make the cut. Gabby only got into the field with her finish at the Lotte Championship last week, and she couldn't get a flight out. She stayed in Hawaii because she was planning to stay in Hawaii for a couple of days. At the third, Lilia Vu. And Tom, what a difference it makes moving this tee up. Only 131 yards today. Huge difference today, Karen. Oh, so much easier. Yeah, and that was going to come back towards the hole. That's going to be very good. Yeah. Second at two, Tavitanikin. Hasn't missed a cut in 2023 after struggling a bit through the stretch last year. Oh, that's very nice. And that's, I think, what we're going to see, some shot stop on a dime. This is a moment to go for a birdie at the fifth. Nice start to the day. One under so far. And this will be a long-range birdie for the Dane. So that moves her to one under for the championship. Just four shots back. Nasa Hataoka, Tom. Yes. You get that? See? And, of course, she was named in honor of that organization. And... This could be a bit of a rocket from NASA. <laughs> Inji Lee in the fairway at four. 223 yards. This is on a great line. Uh, it does get on the surface. Great chance. Fourth hole, par five. That area right there, right side. Go. Yes, it does. That had some steam hitting the flagstick, too. But what a shot. I don't know if he yelled louder or me. Longer than NASA. She's leading in the field this week in greens and regulation, Karen. Oh, this looks good, too. Morgan. Mm. If, the, if that's the shot that you don't like, I think you're doing pretty well. Good stroke, no breakdown in that wrist. Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful pendulum to that stroke and, and more aggressive than we're used to seeing. Now Minji for birdie. Just slow back up the hill. Yeah, she got she hammered it. <laughs> yeah, she got the line right. We talked a lot about it uh, today at seven, not quite getting uh, the line right on that green, but Minji hit it hard enough or it didn't take any break. Yeah, yeah, it's another birdie. Hasn't finished, hasn't finished worse than 14th in the LPGA. Who will play their way in? Nelly Corder for a birdie at nine. That is... Uh, that's something to watch out for if they start to go in from that distance from Nelly. Bid still struggling with the back and neck today. That's going to get there. But it and doesn't that's appear go to in. affect much of her golf. 78 yesterday. Look where she is right now. And she hasn't made a bogey today either. Let's see if she can stay in a putt here, Tom. Yeah. Well, it gets it to four over. A chance to make the cut. It's going to have to make a few more of those. But that run around the turn really hurt her chances. Just about to say I would not doubt her though, the way she's been putting. 
Absolutely brilliant. To the left. Yeah, good shot there. Brilliant. Nelly will get it back to six under. And we start with Brittany Altamari, who's had four pars to begin her second round. This for a birdie and takes her to one under par for the day, two under par for the championship. Uh, she can launch it out a little bit to the right and get some help off a slope. Wants to keep it below the hole here, though. Yeah, well done. Yeah, very good. She'll stay two under for the day. Ninth hole of the day for Ali Ewing making the turn here. In style. 30-year-old from Fulton, Mississippi. Went to Mississippi State. This is a moment ago, the second shot for Danielle Kang. Just birdied the seventh, birdied the eighth. And how about this at the ninth from Danielle Kang. Not far away from an eagle, too. It'll be three birdies in a row to finish the front nine. She will go back to level par for the championship. Oh, great shot. Very good. That's going to be a tap-in birdie for Henderson, and she's going to get to five under par and within two of the lead. This was a moment ago, Carlota de Seganda. That's nicely done. Back at eight, Brittany Altamari. To get it to three under. Work back the other way, well read. Up the hill at the very end, downhill at the beginning. Then as we're talking about the grain change, it gets dark. Back up, in. Oh, there it is. Why would you ever doubt an eagle at 18 for Brittany Lynn to come in this championship? She has a few flair. Right? Over this week, she's one under for the championship. This is a birdie putt at three. It is down that hill, Tom. And that, did she learn from Megan Kang's speed? She did. There you go. Don't okay. help those numbers. Uh, well, gets her to two under. I'm at 136 to carry that bunker on line with the flag. This on a better line and a better strike oh yeah right club right choice right execution right at it well done this is Denmark's Nanakorts Madsen putting down into the bowl get the speed right here and that is a birdie too back to back birdies for Madsen she's playing alongside Marina Alex who double bogeyed the first 